a mosquito in here. I can't even see if my is not out. What's up, you guys? I gotta hurry up and get into this intro really, really fast, y'all. We are literally leaving Home Depot. Derek just ran in to get us a new broom. Y'all, today I will be doing something I have not seen anybody do. Y'all, I will be acting obsessed with my ex, y'all. I'm gonna just keep talking about him. I might even cry over him, to be honest. I'm just gonna be doing the most. I feel like this is really gonna rub him the wrong way because I really be knowing how to get to this man sometimes. But like I be saying, Derek be trying to act like he can't show his emotions sometimes. But I'm definitely gonna pull it up out of him today. Y'all, y'all see the time, y'all see what's going on? It's me by myself. So my team, Janaris, y'all better go dumb in the comments, okay? Because we go, ooh, as Sonic. As Sonic. I'm not gonna lie to you. But y'all, we finna get real, real lit today. I'm finna make him very uncomfortable. I think I'm gonna be talking about my ex from like the fifth grade or something. Like, I'm just gonna be on some really, really lame stuff. But I think it's gonna be super funny and I just wanna get a kick out of it. I wanna get a rush out of it. Like a little trillin' rush. Like, I don't know. But y'all, he's gonna be coming to the car really soon. I'm gonna keep this camera rolling. Yeah, yeah. We finna get into it. Like this, comment, nothing else to say. Let's get it. Y'all, I've just been so tired lately. So tired. Here you come, here you come. Excuse me. What? Babe, why are you just sitting at the back? I if I open the door. You just opened it, babe. I opened that door. I didn't have to open the back door. That was going to be too much. Okay, okay. Who the mess with my mirror? Boy, I ain't drove in two days, so. You want to? You no. Want to drive? No. Bet. Not really. About the rain anyway, you ain't no good in the rain. Good thing we got new tires. I'm a passenger princess. Show up. Let me get some. I don't know where we at. Alright? And it blowing me up. Who? Who? I don't know what they talking about. You know what I really want to do soon? What? Go to Olive Garden like we did that one day. It was really fun and it was really good. There's a bug on me. Open the door, let it out. Damn, I think I'm paralyzed now. Ah, little buggy. We're a little distance away from the curtain. How far are we? Like 50 minutes. Shut up. We're not that far. It didn't take us that long to get over here. Yeah, we 11 minutes. Okay. 11 minutes away on 11-11. Look at the universe. I'm just <laughs> so crazy. I be thinking I cut my hair all the time, but I'm fine. I'm really probably gonna keep you locked like forever type stuff. Forever? Forever. Cause this is like, this is keeping all my energy inside my body, you feel me? In my vessel, you know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't gotta cut your hair off. But you when you cut to. it off, like it's not gonna, it's not gonna be the same unless you dye it blonde. Why well, I gotta dye blonde? And then you can like get some hazel contacts. I might grab some contacts, that's some fun. But I don't want hazel, I probably want white. 
white contact so I can look white. Why would why in the hell would you do something like that now? Cause white contacts is cold. Who you know we got white eyes? Nobody. That's some movie shit. I'm a movie star. Okay. I guess. But I just feel like it'll just take me down memory lane. You do that like it'll be real good. Like the old me, cause I used to have that blonde hair. I was in my prime. Oh, what? I was in my prime. I had that blonde hair back when I played football. Yeah, that's when you fell in love with me, wasn't it? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I'm waiting on this truck. Thank you, buddy. Is that who you want me to be like something? 
I'm not that. gonna be like no nigga. I'm gonna be like me, dirt. I didn't say that. I just like seeing like I don't know like just when I wake up in the morning and right when I go to bed, his name just me in my search engine or he might pop on my explore page. Got to the point now. My it seems like my phone just recommends him now. Like let me see. But he told me happy birthday this year, so that's good. You follow? Why the fuck are you looking at his shit for if you don't follow him? Dude. No, so follow him, nigga, if you're going to be on the search engine all the time. Some people you're going to be looking for him. I don't know. Some people just... Maybe it's just a connection from, like, back then. You know? I don't know. You still feel that connection? I mean... I don't know. I just feel like I got to check on him, like, a lifelong friend, like, you know, all the time. Do you get what I mean? No. I don't. You're confusing me right now. Why do I confuse you? If I'm telling you, I'm being very transparent about how I feel and I'm telling you everything. You still got feelings for him or something? What? You talking about you, you acting like you can't help yourself to look for this man. I told you Instagram is a corrupt app that recommends you people now. We're blocking. Why would I block him to make it seem like it's a problem? And plus it's going to mess up my, when I look, when I go to, want to see him. When I want to go see him. Stuff that he's posting that's not healthy but i want to see what he's thinking about or if i want to see what type of girlfriend he got why or do you see what about his family's name? doing like why you i know that like what they, what do they you do really family vacations all the time and it's just like dang and you not invited so what do you care that's rude well listen you need to be worried about your own family your own man that man got his own life going on let him live you stalking him and shit and then he would be so happy to know that I like dogs now because back then I didn't like dogs, but I like them now. It's so crazy. I just feel like we kind of grew apart, though. Good. Let me see. Let me see. Show me this man right now. You Tell crying? Me. I can't be really telling you. You crying over another nigga? I just feel like we grew apart. I don't want to grow apart from you. Are you really crying, bruh? Bruh, quit that bullshit. You don't even know that nigga. Yes, I do. Why would you say something like that? <laughs> My girl crying over another nigga that she don't even know. What has the world come to? Why? Why do you have feelings for this man? You ain't talked to him in 10 years. I never said that. Well, you acting like it. If he making you cry, he got to see me. The nigga making my girl cry. Now, I got to make sure you happy again. He ain't got to deal with it. He ain't got to deal with the trauma and pain you done been through. Though, so well, you ain't no like, kid no more. You a grown up. Exactly. That's why I gotta look at his stuff every day. Quit doing that shit. You gonna mess up our relationship looking at another man every day, look waiting for him to post. I don't want his nutsack. Get off that man's nutsack, dude. For real. Dude. Do I know this nigga? Show me the picture. Show me the picture right now.
You're childish. Anyways, y'all, I got this man, y'all. Y'all see what just went on. He was really upset because he thought I was upset with my ex. My ex is all the people I used to mess with is in the past. I don't gotta worry about them ever again. You shouldn't have to worry about yours either. Oh, okay. You didn't bring niggas up. Y'all, we out of here. Peace.